Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to ask myself a holly jolly question. Can I lope seven days as Santa? I really debated whether I should say that, and I decided to go with it. <laughs> so let's get back into it. Oh. Uh, I make a lot of decisions yeah, so that I then question later. <laughs> Alright, um, let's take a look at Santa and how he's doing. Did I, did I get in? No. I always worry that I got into Berglope, but uh, we are in Trappers, and we are about to head to uh, Mystery Lake. Excuse me, Mountain Town. It is almost morning. We could sleep a little bit more. I'm trying to preserve time. How's our food situation? Um... You know, we got a lot of pancake opportunity here. And we do have the skillet, so I think we're okay there. The weather outside right now is not weather I really want to travel in, and it is dark, so maybe I will sleep a little bit more. Chair, wood stove, bench. Uh, where is bed? Bed is... Bed is... Oh, wait, no. Bench, not not workbench. Give me like three. See if that improves things. Well, it improves things from a uh, light perspective. We can probably go into the um, uh, cave, regardless of weather. Switch the controller here for a bit. Yeah, I think probably we're fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go. We can always stop in the cave. Yeah, I don't love it. Oh, oh, holy cow. This is not good. Uh, uh, should be right about here. Yep. In we go. <laughs> do you have a lantern, Santa? <laughs> you do. Does it have much fuel left? Also, uh, you have a bunch of terrible torches. Let's take care of that. I had a very nice uh, Christmas gathering with my family yesterday. Got to see my kids, my grandkids. It was a lot of fun. And uh, very much put me in the Christmas spirit for today. Uh, I am recording this on Sunday, the 17th. I have a little more Christmas shopping I need to do. It shouldn't have, I shouldn't still be in that situation, but uh, I am. Leave ourselves that one torch. And my memory is match-wise, we're in great shape. Um, I don't want to miss any coal. That torch won't last long. We don't have any lamp oil, so we can't make a mega torch. I guess I'll, I'll use the lantern. We'll use it up and then probably just leave it. I would like some coal, please. A little OKC. I won't bore you with my uh, repeated assertion that I love this music. And yet, I just did. <laughs> so I guess I will. <laughs> like this is, that's better. All right, there's some coal, there we go. Wow, that's actually quite a bit. Behind. 
No, you're fine, Will. Believe me. I mean Santa. Santa needs a ready supply of coal to deliver to, I guess, I naughty people. Right now. So, I'm gonna guess that there's some sort of coal mine at the North Pole where Santa gets all the coal that he needs. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, even if you think about maybe just one out of 10, one out of 10 people deserve coal, 10%. 90% of people are on the nice list. You know, let's not pay attention to the news for a bit and assume that's the case. Then that's like close to a billion. As well as there, like 8 billion people in the world? So that's, you know, somewhere sh north of 800 million pieces of gold <laughs> that Santa needs. Where is he getting all that? And he needs it per year. Per year. I mean, maybe they're really small pieces of coal. I myself have never received one, um, so that's shockingly. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of coal, so Santa must have an extensive mining operation going on up there. There must be just unthinkably large coal deposits uh, under the North Pole, which is not a continent, but just ice. But you go with it. All right, um, considering the weather, I may stop here and have a fire, have some pancakes, make some torches. Make a little coffee. That one's just for me. The logistics. Santa's operation fascinate me. <laughs> I had never thought about this coal part, though. Um, yeah, sure. We got 20 pieces of coal. Go crazy. Yeah, burn the gun book, too. That feels... Santa wouldn't be okay with that. Alright, um, pancakes, please. We might need water first. We'll find out. No. But we will make some water. I have a couple different pressures while making this uh, particular series, uh, timing-wise. Uh, normally, I run any series, you know, they go as they go. They go as they go, always. Uh, if I die, I die. And if I die on part one, then I die on part one. Um, this one feels a little bit different. I feel like it would be very, very uh, not fun to release a unsuccessful, we'll say, Santa series. Um, on top of that, timing-wise, I don't have enough time. If this doesn't work, I don't have enough time to fil film a second one or record a second one. So I'm feeling the pressure to really make sure that this works. Um, and uh, on top of that, I just have, like, you know, I love how these look as you flip them around. I have a lot to do. So I'm feeling it on this one. Um... I gotta get it done. The other piece is I wanted it to be seven parts. I don't know that it's timing out to be seven parts. And you know, if you're gonna upload things to YouTube daily, you need a schedule and I have one. And the schedule called for this to take seven parts. And I don't think it's going to. Um, so I may have to come up with, I don't know, a filler. I'll think of something. By the time you see this, I will have already worked it out. Let's see. We have 11 presents, by the way, not 10, like I said at the end of last time. Can we still make more pancakes? Keep making pancakes, Santa. I had uh, bacon and waffles and cinnamon rolls yesterday at the Christmas gathering, and it was all good. Go, Santa, go. <laughs> Keep pancaking your way to success. The storm is long since over. Santa's behind the schedule. Mrs. Claus is texting him frantically. He's just eating pancakes. 
No, that's not done. Damn it. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, we're gonna work on that for you there, William. AKA Santa. Um I think I'm gonna drop the cooking books. What else can we uh well that does we do do need to get down a rope. So, um I think this lantern has served its purpose. The hammer. I think I'm gonna leave there too. That really, really lowers the weight. Which is good, because we kinda need to go down and up this rope. I may grab it. We don't have a bedroll. Okay. Did we ever have a bedroll? I don't think so. Fine. I was gonna grab an hour, but uh not not anymore. Torch. Only two, huh? A bit risky. Alright, let's do this thing. Ho ho ho, let's go. I'm gonna get more matches, so I don't need to maintain this uh, torch. There's a chance of a single wolf down here. We'll see if he's there. If he is, we can always light it back up. But there's the matches in this cave at the bottom of uh, the rope here are guaranteed. They will be there 100% of the time. There's only a couple guaranteed matches I know about in the game. This is one of them. There are many. I just don't know them all. Um, these gas station in Pleasant Valley, the uh, ice cave in HRV, and as far as guaranteed ones I know about, I think that might be it. I'm pretty sure I've gone to Mountaineers and not found them in Timberwolf Mountain. And I th think I've gone to Anglers and Ash Canyon and not found them. But I could be wrong about that. What I will say is on Loper, every time I go to Ash Canyon, I come out with a lot of matches. Ash Canyon seems to be a good match uh, uh, resource. Now we could just go, I think here is where you go this. And I do have a beautiful badge from Kirk Steven that I need to uh, start uh, using. Uh, that is specifically about goating. It refers to me as the goat master, I think, which I don't know about all that. But I do like to goat. I make a lot of goating decisions, some of them better than others. I question this one a bit. But I do think goading, whether you, you might view goading as an exploit, if you do, super fine that you do. Uh, I do not. And uh, I view it as a necessary skill. It's also important to get hurt on the very last step. That's the sign of a true goat. Thanks, Will. Thanks, thanks for, thanks for looking at me like uh, aces there. Oh, it's totally Will's fault too, not mine. Okay, yeah, I didn't hear a wolf howl as I came in, but now I do. Do we have a blue? Yeah, we have a blue. I'm just gonna use the blue if I need it. Seems like a waste of a blue, but... I also didn't grab those teas I normally would. But sand is a bit pressed for time here. Almost walked by the damn cave. The darn cave, excuse me. Oh, oh. whoops. All right, guaranteed, 100% of the time. Don't make me look dumb. Thank you. We really don't need the firewood. We're carrying so much coal. We're fine. Santa likes to loot. Aha, but wait a minute. Santa can't go in any containers. Those guaranteed matches are not for Santa. 
Oh, uh, Santa forgot himself there for a moment. I'll just drop that. Ugh. Ouch. I got so excited about the guaranteed matches, I forgot I can't have them. But I remembered. No naughty list for done. I did it right. I try very much to play by the rules. So be it. Try to imagine Santa saying, So be it. <laughs> then let this be the day we go to battle. <laughs> Alright, enough with the Santa voice. Too goofy. If I have a series planned coming up for another Can I Lope. Be the last Can I Lope for this year. Also a bit goofy. <laughs> I'm going out on, on goofy stuff. I just had a couple fun ideas that I wanted to try. And uh, we'll get back to some hardcore. Serious. I have the, the one coming after that I think is very, very, very serious. So, um, But you got to have fun. It is, after all, a game. All right, up the rope. Please. Please, Santa. Work with me here. Thank you. Here's some ptarmigans. Of course, I picked up those matches from that backpack just to prove they're guaranteed. That's all. That's all. I was. I. I knew. All right. Here we go. There's another presence delivering opportunity here. If it's a stove, it is a stove. It's stove, it's got a stove pipe. We're calling this a chimney. We're good. It's a warm location. If Mountaineers counts, this counts. And we didn't do it in Mountaineers, but we could have. Okay, let's uh, make a present, please. Which we now know takes 30 minutes. I try to learn something from every can I lope. That's what I learned on this one. Uh, do we have a pry bar? That is unfortunate that we do not. We cannot get in the gas station. Hopefully we'll find one. But let's deliver this gift. Uh, let's deliver this gift. There it is. Merry Christmas to you, residents of this ranger station. That's what I think this is. So. Like, uh, do we consider that out in the open? I don't know that I do. Any cookies for Santa? I feel like I have to be extra rule following now that after my little misstep there. Okay. Time to not go to the gas station because we can't. And instead head off this way into the somewhat dangerous mountain town slash Milton. Originally, I very actively disliked this map. I would sometimes call it my least favorite map. Uh, I have come around on, on Milton quite a bit. I now view it as a must visit. Uh, I have turned many a run around with a... Uh, a run to Milton. It is resource rich. It's also a really interesting map uh, in how diverse it is and how large it is. It's deceptively big. It has a lot of different kind of areas in it. Uh, I really think it's a cool, well-designed map. Now that bunny tells me I'm probably safe from wolves around the house that I want to go to. Maybe. Or he could be working with the wolves. The bunnies are the true enemies of the long dark. That and wind. Alright, in we go.
Uh, little socks. How are we on socks? We have the worst socks. We could upgrade our socks. <laughs> Those socks were the straw that broke my back on uh, on weight. That's funny. Oh my god, these socks are so heavy. We could repair them to make them better. We'll wait for some downtime to need to do that. But I don't want to be overburdened because it would be... Oh, we have pain too. Um, if I can get rid of my sprain risk and um, my pain, I can just walk at wolves with the torch. What if we just ate this tomato soup? And then we dropped the can. And the other can. Okay. And if we took some pain reliever. <sighs> there. No negative statuses. So that I can just walk at wolves now. With the power of uh, Santa. Of course, you can't walk at wolves with the wind blows your torch out. But uh, we're going to... Despite the fact that I don't have as many matches as I thought I did, we're going to go with it. Okay, don't get hurt, Will, because that will blow my whole plan. Now, I don't think this will stop a charge. So if you surprise a wolf and he immediately goes into a charge, I don't think this stops them. Uh, check out videos from Bashrobe and Zachnafane for more details on this. Oh, sprain risk. Okay, it's not going to work anymore anyway. Because I know that's one of the ones that makes you seem weak to the wolves. Skillet for Santa. Thanks, but Santa already had one. Santa will always take so a soda and salt. And to be honest, you only have one curtain. I'm doing you a favor here. You, you want symmetry. You, that looks way better than having one curtain. Come on. Uh, upstairs? Let's take a look at that. Light shell. Is it better? It is. I'll trade you. You always wanted a vest, right? Well, Santa heard you. Got your letter. I want to look like the kid from Back to the Future. Well, Marty McFly, you are. I guess we'll go straight to Grey Mother's. There is a house here. It's boarded up, though. <coughs> Excuse me. So that one's no good. This one we can go in, but it's not going to have a uh, fireplace or a stove. This is, I think, also the one with the uh, the teddy bear. In the top. Yep. Very sad house. I guess that kid liked to play with spray paint and trucks. It's very dark. This is a dark house. <laughs> uh, is this a picture of that? Oh boy. Let's just. Let's get out of here. Bringing Santa down. Okay, all right. Don't worry. I'm just headed over here. Okay. 
Let's see, Grey Mothers. What do you have for me, Grandma? Some books. More salt. Another potato. Cooking pot. Another skillet. More tomato soup. Flour. And matches. Okay. Grandma remembered me. Thank you, Grandma. I appreciate it. Eat. Throw. He likes. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? We got nothing. Hey, the flare gun's here. This'll no flare useful. shells, though. I always look for it. It's never here. I'm excited that it's there. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Zippo. Nothing. I mean, I can take cloth. I don't care if this torch goes out. Yeah, I'll take that. It's out in the open, right? Sort of. Yeah, I did this already. I feel like there's a bedroom I didn't go to. Can I not check this? Well, I've checked it now. Yeah, that's it, huh? Okay. First up. Sewing kit, thank you. Don't really need it, but Santa always takes sewing kit. First up, I would say, is repair this light shell. Into decent status. Okay, let's deliver some presents. Uh, harvest that. Trying to map it out in my head. Do we have enough time to get where I want to go? I don't know. I think we'll go to uh, the farmhouse tomorrow. And I think I'm going to get a good uh, fire going here. Okay, hang on. We don't need to do that. Going to deliver two presents here. I might head back out into town to see if there are any other houses where we can deliver a gift and save the farmhouse for the morning. All right. I'm not sure why I feel so tired. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Here, can I just put you right there in your cooking? Thank you. Uh, let's make another potato and some water. No, 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 no. And there was tomato soup over here. No, the flour was over here. There's some tomato soup. Got another pot too. Put that on. There we go. Let's get... It's like we're making a big big Christmas breakfast. Except we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any more syrup, so we have to make Bannock instead. Alright, and now we will deliver a present. Merry Christmas, Grey Mother. And for a drink right now. you deserve two hats. You get a second present over here. I like this one too. I like to think that's a picture of Grey Mother when she was younger, up on the mantle there. I, I guess you can't see it. I think my head is in the way. Come on. Come on. 
you'll see it in a minute. Not good. That's, this is just enough for the ambiance. That's nice. There's the picture, by the way. Alright, here's another present. That's present number, uh, let's see, we delivered 12. Number 12 over at the ranger station, this would be 13 and 14. Grab the salt. I can always use more food. Bannock almost ready. Uh, soup is ready. It's in terrible condition. But any port in a storm, Santa. Okay, you did alright. Um, do you want to make porridge? Okay, the Bannock is not done. The potatoes are not done. I think I'm just going to stay here and I'll, I'll do the town and other stuff in the morning. Especially since there's a bed here. Bannock, which gives you two Bannocks. I sometimes forget that. I'm like, oh, all that for just one thing to eat, but there's a second one. Uh, yeah, pick that up. Eat your other Vanok. Have a drink. Here, have a soda. Porridge is almost done. Potatoes are done. You can eat one and probably not eat the other. Take the porridge, leave the pot, take the gun, leave the cannoli. Sorry, I can't help myself. It's actually leave the gun, take the cannoli. I, I did that backwards. Timed out well. Upstairs we go for a nice long rest. Ah, uh, ba, 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 ba. big drink. And sleep. Yes. Anything else I want to do with this last like hour that I have? I guess it's too dark to do anything. So yeah, go ahead. Give me the full ten. We'll get dehydrated, but it's fine. Shouldn't take much. All right, five days, 16 hours, okay. All right, we got some curtains we can grab. Hey, I know I left you some presents there, Grey Mother, but nobody rides for free here. These cloth hats don't make themselves. Um... I probably should have grabbed torches out of that fire. <laughs> uh. There we go. Whoops. Alright, thank you, Grey Mother. We appreciate your lodging. And, uh, you know, have a good Christmas. Yikes. Okay, let me uh, just go check on my uh, uh, checking account here for a minute. Santa's got to look at his 401k. Move a few mutual funds around. Various financial jokes. Coffee. Santa loves coffee. I would think Santa would just be chugging coffee like crazy. Hey. 
There we go. Warming up a cup of coffee you found raises your cooking skill. I learned that from Zach. Warming up a cup of coffee you made, you only get the cooking skill, you know, you get the cooking skill when you make it. But if you let it go cold and then warm it again, you don't get anything. But you do get cooking skill for found drinks if you warm them, the first time you warm them up. Hey! I need to drop something. Gas station, ahoy! Outstanding. That creates all kinds of interesting options. I mean, we could question whether it's okay for Santa to break into the gas station, but he's delivering a present. He's not going to steal anything. He's going to leave something. Um. Hmm. Nervousness. Uh, this house boarded up. This house boarded up. There's our wolfy friend. We are overburdened. Who's whoa? It's not the ah ha ha guy from the side. Oh crap. We might lose the torch. Hurry up. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Thank you. Literally seconds left. The torch went out. Okay, uh, Grey Mother, hi, we're back. Sorry, I uh, forgot something. Forgot that I'm not wolf proof. Um. I'm going to have to use your fireplace a second time there, uh, GM. Why did I take the, the, the gunpowder? I don't need it. I already have fire starter. Okay, we're going to have to hang out here for a bit and make some torches. I did it. Did Sure did, Will. Okay. Um, might as well make food, right? But we have some food to eat. Uh, yeah, get rid of this thing. And give me this porridge. Look at how the condition for porridge goes down. Super fast. All the cooked food. Well, this potato didn't lose much condition, though, did it? Like, let's make porridge. What condition is porridge when you make it? While that's cooking, I'll make another hat for when we deliver another gift. Have that pre-ready. Okay, porridge. 75%. It, it doesn't even come out 100% when you make it. Maybe if your cooking skill is higher, it does. Okay, this was supposed to be for torches there, Santa. I actually feel like we need to put a bit more into this so that we get a little bit more out of it. Alright, maybe we should go get to the farmhouse while the getting's good. Wind permitting. I'm going to go down this street to see if there are any houses available. Seriously, dude. Come on, man. Santa's, Santa's on the clock here. Don't laugh at Santa's improvised hand wraps, either. He's proud of those. They look terrible. I admit that. Thank you for running in the worst direction possible. Boarded up. Not boarded up. Carrot for Rudolph. And a gift. That we can deliver. 
I'm even going to use your chemical Bags fire log heavy. thing because it's so heavy. So let's see, 12 at the ranger station, 13, 14 at Great Mother, so this is 15. Unless I forgot one somewhere. Turned out pretty well. Yeah. Super great. Uh, here, here's a torch for you. <laughs> Sorry if I burn your house down. <laughs> um, here is your hat. We should take the time while we're in front of this fire. Let's take the time to repair these gloves. So the Santa can actually have good gloves on. There we go. They're not better. <laughs> finish, finish repairing them. I insist. These have got to get better than the than the improvised ones. Okay, they're at a hundred percent now. They should be. There we go. Finally. Okay, good job, Santa. And uh, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, I gotta go. All right. Um. I don't think I want your extra stuff. But I might remember it's here in case I want to come back. <laughs> Santa's got a list and he'll check it twice. I'm gonna remember who left out flour that he could take later. I'm really mining the Christmas jokes for all, for all they're worth. I was trying to think what is on my long dark Christmas list. What do I want from the long dark um, from next year? I would like the next map to be, I mean, I'm gonna go with my, my dream. I want the title. I want the title mechanic. I want tides. I want a coastal map where you have to, um, <sighs> You know, you can only access certain areas depending on whether the tide is high or low. And you got to pay attention to the moon, uh, you know, the moon phases. And, like, I want that. That's my, that's my long dark dream. Uh, I would, I mean, I'm so happy with the game. It's hard to, like, want things. I'm always happy to get things. But, I mean, you know, there's a few bugs and stuff that I, I would like them to fix. Uh, I'm still waiting to see how scurvy shakes out. Uh, I'm not opposed to it. I do want the game to maintain the ability where you could live forever if you really wanted to. And you, you know, were really good. I don't want them to put a cap on how long you can live. Now, this is another house that Santa kind of has to break into. But delivering this gift is really important. I'm not going to steal anything. I'm just going to leave some. Well, unless they left cookies out for me. And I'm supposed to come down the chimney, but um, my um, blood crashed. And uh, my chimney powers are not working correctly. So, you know, Santa has to improvise. Okay, maybe... Uh, I forgot to check this. Um, check this. Of course, it's going to be over by the uh, truck. All right, there we go. Hey, you left the key out, man. You left the key out where I could find it. You know, I think this is on you. All right. This is often a very helpful location. I actually think this this spot helps me more than Grey Mothers pretty often. I often find something I really need here. Should 
check that out. Thank you. Couple books we could take, probably. Little toy tractor action. Something's gotta go. No, nope, you're fine. Then I wouldn't say no to some syrup. Uh, but he's not gonna get any. Whoops. I forgot. Too late. Yeah. Oh well, that one's on me. Wow. A canacopia of cans. There's the skillet. Cheeky. Put that in the back. Alright, so it is another opportunity to deliver two presents. It's back there as well. So, I need to craft two hats. These boots might be better. Let's take a look. First off, the windbreaker. Didn't think it was going to be better. No, you're, you're, a, you're a source of cloth. Uh, the boots, though. 89. Yeah, they're probably not better. No, they're not. Yeah, I'll leave you your boots. Thank you for offering them to me, though. Okay. Let's create uh, two more hats. I'm going to just take a super fast look at the recording time here. Yeah, I like how this is timing out. Okay, um, let's deliver this present right here. Merry Christmas, farmers. Happy holidays. And over here. This one we're going to light. What is our match count? Oh, yeah, that's right. We found more matches at Great Mothers. We're fine. Like this here. Again, I need to drop that accelerant because I don't need it. We'll get some nice uh, cooking going. Now, one thing I very much want on my Christmas list from uh, Hinterland is the base customization. Turned out pretty well. I want it to be what I want it to be, which I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be less feature rich than we want, but God, I just want to be able to move furniture out of my way. This chair drives me nuts. It's always in my way. I always end up breaking it down because I get mad at it. I just want to be able to move stuff. Like, just make it, you can make it so that I can't take it outside and do silly things with it. Leave it in the building, but I want to be able to move this cup out of my way. Just get this off the counter. Just straighten things up. It's never going to happen. There's no way that th this is not an object in the game, and it would have to become an object. The chair, maybe. These things, no. But this is this is my Christmas dream. It's not going to happen. I'm excited about base customization, but I have a feeling the gap between what we want base customization to be and what it ends up being is going to be not insignificant. Okay, put this here. Put this here. Put this. Do we have any potatoes left? Okay. Uh, actually, don't put that there. Pick that up. Instead, just put this down. Same here. Peaches again. Let's confirm that found coffee theory. Place the coffee. Okay, in the back here. Not not you, not you. Bannock, I guess? Yeah, that's all we can do. I want all six of these burners doing something. No, oh, I almost had it. I almost did it without messing anything up. All right, there we go. 
peaches, coffee, bannock, porridge, and pork and beans. All right, we're going to deliver our gift. Have a great holiday. Ho, ho, ho. Here you go. All right, so that's... I've lost count. I'm 16, 17, something like that. All right, let's see. This is, if we pick this up and we get the cooking symbol, then it's right. Yes. Wait. No. Um. No, it did. We did. We did. We did. I was a little sure, unsure whether that was just you got a can. But why would we get a can out of a cup of coffee? Obviously. Done. Okay, more Bannock. Who's burning? You're burned, that's fine. You're burned, that's fine. <laughs> Not a problem, it's okay. You don't even get the can if you burn it, that's interesting. I never noticed that before. That's fine. Okay, give me the Bannock. Eat the pork and beans. Ah, uh, give me the porridge. These aren't ready. This is ready. You might as well eat those. Grab one pot, one skillet. We'll leave the rest. Make sure we don't have two cooking pots now, but we do have all these cans. Finish this. Take them. How much longer on this? Good amount. Alright. Whoa. No, don't do that. I think we may go Day of Grey Mothers one more time. Because I don't think there's anything left to do here in Mountain Town. And I would like to head back to Mystery Lake. Um... Don't like this wind. But I have flares. Because the church in um, Mountain Town does not have a stove or a fireplace. So it is not usable for gift delivering. The um, There's nothing in HRV. So our options would be to either use Basin to get to Forlorn Muskeg. And from Fort Lauderdale, Muskeg, we could go to Broken Railroad, where there is one place. Wow. Hey, I'm as surprised as you are, dude. Hang on. Maybe I just walk you. I feel like I'm just going to walk you, okay? Um, is it worth it to go to Broken Railroad all for one gift delivery we could then from broken railroad go to transfer pass the problem is is that that one gift delivery in broken railroad is the cabin you got to go deep into broken railroad to, to get there i don't know how i feel about that i mean at this point we're down to onesie twosies like we we only have little you know little options for gift delivery I do kind of like the idea of wrapping up in Transfer Pass. I kind of like it a lot as a cool goal. But maybe I grab one of these houses, assuming they let me go in one. There may be a house in the back that we haven't gone to, though. Really? Wow, man. Got a lot going on here. And I'm being weirdly stubborn about not wanting to uh, use anything. Have we been in here?
For a second, I thought you might have a fireplace, but you don't. You do have a bed. I kind of regret using this flare now. Do you have a bed? And I'm going to use this bed to get a save. Um, I'll put this in the bathtub. There you go. That way it won't burn your house down. Give me one hour. And I think uh, I will decide tomorrow. But I'm starting to like this broken... Forlorn Muskeg to Broken Railroad to transfer pass option. Uh, because it, it angles Santa towards heading towards the airport, which is where maybe Mrs. Claus could pick him up. So I kind of like that as a as a, uh, uh, an option. I do. So we'll, we'll I think I think that's probably what I'm gonna do, but we'll see uh, as we come into it tomorrow. Uh, that is gonna do it for this one. I really really appreciate all the support that you're showing me. I hope you're having a great holiday season. And uh, I'm always happy to be your Daily Long Dark. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.